Welcome back, everyone. New tonight at 6 o'clock. Governor Malloy is uh, getting ready, of course, to leave office. After two terms, he passes the torch to Governor-elect Ned Lamont. Yes, he hasn't been a very popular governor, but despite heavy criticism on raising taxes, Malloy says regrets are like Sinatra's song, too few to mention. <laughs> Chief political reporter Susan Raff sat down with Malloy today at the governor's residence. Hi there, Susan. Hi there, Aaron. If Governor Malloy is bothered by some of the negative comments and publicity, he certainly doesn't show it. In fact, as we sat down today, he says he feels more pride than anything else and not disappointment. What goes through your mind in these final days as you get ready to leave? I got a pack. <laughs> in just a few days, Daniel Malloy will move out of the governor's residence. He plans to spend Christmas with his family and then back to private life. It's time to, to let someone else have all the fun. Fun may not be the way some would describe the past eight years. Malloy has taken a beating. He raised taxes not once, but twice. I didn't create the environment that Connecticut was in in 2011. Uh, in fact, no single governor created that um, uh, situation. And then some big companies like GE started leaving. But Malloy says what many may not know is that under his watch, having more private sector jobs in the state of Connecticut as I sit with you today than at any time in our history. To create those jobs, Malloy started the first five program. A total of more than 376 million was given to 19 companies to retain more than 30,000 jobs and create up to 13,000. Is there a point where it is corporate welfare that too much money to these businesses is too much? Uh, you know, sure. I think I think there is there is a, a tipping point, um, and I don't think we've passed that tipping point. We've made strategic um, investments. NBC Sports moved a bulk of its work from New York to Connecticut. ESPN has built a third digital studio, and Cigna has added more jobs. Malloy says he's also proud of bipartisan efforts to pass some of the toughest gun laws and a union contract that he says reduces pension obligations to the state by some $40 billion. He also leaves office with more than a billion in the rainy day fund. When I became governor, uh, there was no money in the bank. We, we had no rainy day fund. But Republicans and even some Democrats had a hard time working with him. They left him out of the budget talks. Some call his personality prickly. But in these final days, a man who takes pride in his cowboy boot collection seems at ease. Yeah, listen, I, I didn't become governor to be popular. I, I became governor to, to do things, to have accomplishments. The union contract is certainly controversial. Critics say it ties lawmakers' hands because it doesn't expire for another nine years. Governor Malloy does have some advice for Governor-elect Lamont. He says don't promise too much in one year. Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.